They gotta get to the back line. Gotta get to these supports. They know where Mira is. Smart play. Start off with him. That's gonna be a die back there. Now they turn towards the troll. Do they actually have the damage to be able to do so? Whoa, oh, pull him in. Static Storm. Oh, they're gonna be able to just jump in into Toronto Tokyo. Managed to get the disruptor just like that. Yutoro, who'd already popped uh, his rampage there. Still has his battle trance ready to go and still has the agent, so he can just keep going. Ravage is just going to be used. Some of the heroes were able to run themselves away. They're going to turn and go for the troll. That's going to be life number one. Death is very low. The tiny one hit is all it takes to be able to finish this guy off. The cost does do it. Buyback coming out there as well, though. Team Spirit are killing Fnatic heroes one by one, but not getting any dieback. So Fnatic can't hold this potentially. They're going to go for jabs, take away that big helping hand to Raven. Raven still is unable to man by Yutoro. Now gets locked down, gets run over. Twen's trying to do what damage he can as he dips on through everybody on the side of Team Spirit. But the monsters that are Team Spirit just seem to be putting up with such a beating and putting it back double as Raven again locked down. Toronto Tokyo keeps on finding these supports beyond godlike for him. Are they finally going to let Spirit go? They're going to try one more time. A glimpse back. No battle trance. No BKB. A sliver of hope to be able to bring down this troll, but they just seem to oh do it. God. He's too damn big. He is rampaging all over them, and that is exactly what Toronto Tokyo is going to get to knock out he's Fnatic. Cutting down trees, but instead he's going to be the one who gets cut down. Club Bell Circle, we got King Devils! <gasps> Three hits from the TA is all it takes to crack open a tight. Got creeps in the base. Mach 2 dead. I guess he gets to go Barax, but they're, they're kind of just living in the enemy base now. Now, they're just, are they going to end this? I think they're going to. They don't have a Tipper Saw for 20 something seconds, and it's not like he's able to do much of anything. The Elder Titans back up at about six. Minus seven armor from Presence of the Dark Lord on these towers. All right. The satellite trying to get these creeps off the buildings, but look at this. They know that they cannot be stopped on the side of spirits. They're feeling very powerful. Good. Radiance. Link Dagger gets picked up on time. I think still. All right, there they go. They jump in for the Ravage. Immediately yep. double kill here for Toronto Toke. It's not like with a... Oh, my word. The GG gets called. That ends. That's Give him his Rampage and TI. There it is. There is the TI Rampage. That ah, feels good. All right. Other than just, like, sending in Toronto Tokyo and hoping he doesn't get vacuumed or something. It's true. Poor oh. thoughts. They got him caught. Oh, and it topped it. They pulled him in, too. Oh! Now looking for more. Seb got to run away. They buy back on Thompson. Wall down. Yadaro, vacuum, chase. Sumail thought about the rundown, but with the two buybacks, Team Spirit will retreat. And with that, Roche will also spawn. They're going to smoke up here, too. Of course, they still have everything. That You know, these are the cheap picks that you get with Horn Toss. Still holding Chrono, still holding RP. And that combo of, like, the Horn Toss with the line, and oh. they get him again. Pull him back in. Bring him on down. Try to salvage it, it's not gonna be enough. OG don't have an answer for the mag. Soxa also gets killed. Unbelievable composure and presence of mind coming. They from need this team spirit that roster. BKB too, right? I mean, all that damage was magical. He took 382 physical Got damage. Him again. On time. What? They find him another time and the chrono down. Collapse! The absolute madman! Voker's uh, kind of just running on limited bits as well. It's really all in Sumail who has to obviously keep farming since he's mid lane. One. Dropping low here. The silence comes in. Toronto Tokyo able to jump, get sprouted. Dissimilate, gets that little damage buff. Yeah. Able to back away from it. And Maposhka in the meantime has a DD. The remnant used out. They're actually able to get the bottle refill that off. Nice that. defense right there. Ow. And now Mira coming in. Has to be careful. Jump through onto one with this DD. Toronto Tokyo wants to go to work. But will he be able to get out of there? Dissimilate. Oh. Jumps into both. What? He turned onto them instead. They thought they were saving Saksa, but they were just dying themselves. Oh, and they can't believe it. Claps happily cheering on his allies wow. from the off lane there. It's six to zero. As the supports contributing early here from Team Spirit, Mira Maposhka, a great and series they get so far, and the greed. Dude, it's coming. They're actually going to open well, up on the Yadaro, first. but the rest of the team coming in in time to try and save their carry. Is it going to be quick enough, though? They jump in! Oh, the RP! But he already died! And now the winner's
Spirits Curse afterwards. Stocks in some trouble. Toronto, Tokyo, and they are all in pretty deep at this point. If they can maybe find a couple quick kills, it could be good. Thompson down low dead. Rooted afterwards. Maposhka, Mira right on top of Sumail. Jump forward, Seth trying to save this. He's done it so many times to them before, but can they do it again? Sumail walking away ever so slowly, bit by bit, trying to escape. But Mira, he won't let him go. The jump forward, this lion and collapse, doing absolutely everything for Team Spirit here. As four go down, Seth tries to get away. But will it end up happening? No. The Yule Scepter lift up into the remnant. Toronto, Tokyo having a coming out party. Hey, he's sending them back in and no one's TPing. They don't want to break the formation. So right. they're just going to sack the tier three. Now tier three is not as valuable as they used to be. But look, the fight's happening. This is why they the don't want to break it up. Catches there. Stun afterwards. Pull back in. Dead. Done. Oh, looking look for collapse. more. He blinked in. Collapse. This guy's a little bit crazy. Thompson Sumail looking for an opening there. They spot one. Avalanche walk Avalanche. forward. They mech, but the save is out. And now Sumail BKB. It's going to wear off soon. Has to back out of there as Yadro chases the winner's curse. It's going to connect. And afterwards, Sasha, he just has to disrupt it. But no, he can't get there in time. The jump in. Sav tries to salvage it. Isn't it up? The Evil Scepter lift up. Mira goes down. But they pull it back in for more. Yadro too strong on this life stealer. Three dead. No buyback. Is this going to be the end for OG? As Soxa also to fall. Everybody's gone. And look at this. That's going to be given to him as the smoke up here from Spirit. And on about the rain again, collapse. Straight over the first round. He pours the refresher into the second. Nightfall is gone. Has got buyback this time round, but the GPK has been caught by the Grand Mapochka with the lockdown. GPK's out of the game for two minutes. TM is trying to take it back to safety here with the Rift, but the Ancients exposed. GPK the Toro and the team looking to close things up as Nightfall is trying to draw their attention away from the Ancient. Can he do so successfully? The Toro is committing. They want to just close it. They're looking for the game. They're looking for the objective. They'll get it. GG is called. As, that's the Doom having to expand the buyback. To lean up to that BKB. And they huge. He walks straight into it. He's going to step up again. The Doom is down. Dropped onto the Luna. The Lotus was there. So having to deal with the Doom himself. But he got his job done. Collapse. He doesn't mind. And that's Nightfall down for 100 seconds. GPK did buy They back. actually did sentry the reward first. So just great positioning by Mimposhka running in as fast as possible, dropping that sentry reward. It's all right. Never going jump. He's got Masada. He's got him. Can they heal off? Great EMP. They're burning through. You're trying to take it from GPK. He goes straight over the wall. Team Viper GPK tried to bring you back with a deadly block, but GPK goes down. King Slayer will kill off your turn, but another light strike from Toronto Tokyo. Sets up for the kill on King Slayer. He's now ready to go over the wall. DM. DM trying to step away. See if they've got the chase down. Able to remove the debuffs with the load of salt. DM. Uh, he's going to be found by the slope from Mira. Break it comes in. The little shredder. It'll get the job done. Sure. Trying to toke his head again. He's going to get the light strike array down onto Nightfall. So they want to jump the Shatori. He's looking to try and get him from the side. He's got his eyes on DM. Nightfall charging in onto Toronto Tokyo, but doesn't want to go any further. Tiger Yatora is in with the combo. Nightfall pots the BKB. BKB out for now. VPR having to reset. The BKB is going to wear off on him, and DM's already used his as well. Toronto Tokyo coming in with the BKB. The global side is shooting the X out, but it's immediately taken down. Hex from GPK onto Toronto Tokyo. Buyback straight up from Kingsland. Mirrors in with a full back slow. Yatora in with a free back. from both Nightfall and... Touched on so much, right? One of the key things for Seeker in this game compared to a lot of the games that they do well in, Nisha has been so quiet. Oh, they might have found Matu. Does have the BKB, Avatars to follow, but Collapse gets saved. And Matu is just completely alone, so they're just looking for some sort of collateral, but it's not going to happen. Down uh, goes Matu. a nullifier, so you can dispel Eon Disc. And, well, Puppy. He's going to get the disruption off, gets stuck inside the Bramble, pops the Ghost Scepter preemptively, but he's going to die shortly after. Great oh, curse. Yep, that's a huge curse on the three heroes as Team Secret gets RP from Collapse, and the right clicks are there from Yotaro. Triple oh kill for him, making an ultra kill. Will he get another Rampage at TI-10? Absolutely, Yotaro does it again, Cinderin. Holy Jesus.
This is the path to victory for Spirit to go up 2-0 over LGD. They gotta guard this wave that's with them, though. Faithbeon has caught the next one. They're, they're scanning that he's actually still there, so he's going back. Toronto Tokyo, he's gonna try and hunt oh, down Faith Beyond. Oh, and off to the side, they get the vision. Tries to chase him down there. There's the silence, the coil afterwards. Still hits pretty hard on Faith Beyond, but with collapse in the area, they're gonna break the coil and kill off the Prophet. How fast does he need to buy back? Is the you can see Team Spirit not comfortable just hitting away in the Roche pit. Nothing to say walks in. Yadaro up front and center. Jeez. Nothing to say. They jump in. There's the control. The damage out. Mapochka's dead. Buys back immediately. Yadaro turns to fight. Destroys. Nothing to say. They got him. Caught to the side. Ame in some trouble. Hitting from the low ground. How many misses are there? It doesn't matter. As they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Oh, the chase continues. Yaro just chases him down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can the kill collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall. But the big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback, collapse, he's got him. CQ looking dead as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now. On the same Faith Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yadaro is too big. As they catch him in again, the pushback, they got him caught. And gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say. Down low, dead. Another huge win. Team Spirit, they won't be denied. The horse toss catches on the ZQ. Oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. Oh. GG is called. They call for LGD, but Yatora has the space that he wants. Can they get a grab underneath the tier 2 tower? Jin Q, nothing to say, they're gonna try, collapse, he's gonna go with the RP just onto Jin Q, drag the scarf underneath the tower, and we'll lose the wave in return, but Yatora is ready to turn up the grips there! They've clawed nothing to see underneath the tower! Yatora has been this arm for now though! Slider Fist comes out as they're looking to turn on another. A spirit will collapse. Oh, end up dying here. To the, the thunder hide of Faith Beyond, but of course that will also get claimed. And by. you know, with these illusions pushing safely, you're forced to respond. Oh, he looks for the jump and collapse. He's not able to get the grab back on nothing to say. To nothing to say. Peek comes up a mirror, holding him for the long run. The feast gets cancelled by the avalanche. The winter's curse coming out with quick end. As PSG have to do their charge on the base. Poke comes crashing down onto Mira. Ancient seal for now onto Yatoro. He's looking to back up and reset inside the base. Toronto Tokyo. He's diving in. Past the tier threes. He's able to take out nothing to say. Look at the remnant over to the side. He's got his eyes over towards Y. Or maybe even more actually. He's holding on to that. Not jumping back quite yet. As they've killed off two. And with two dead, they may just have the room here to push up to the high ground. Yatoro. He's stepping up. Still a bit longer with the Metamorphosis left. They're taking this tier three tower. There's going to have to be buybacks. Jinkyu back into the game. But a tier three taken here. Some damage being done to the Rex as well. No Kunkka for 40 seconds. Yeah, and no wolf fight. Collapse. Oh, catch. He finds a grab. Jumps in. Drags back on the sky. Up, mate. Jin Q. He's gone for 70. Another man down on PSG LGD Spirit. They'll keep the push going. And you've got to be careful. You know, Collapse is looking for another one. There it is. He's in. Drag back on Y. He just can't stop finding them. Collapse. Every single time. Pick off other. Pick off. You can't stand Spirit. it anyway. As a unit, are so much harder to deal with than it is for them to take down PSG LGD. Yeah, absolutely. And it's reflected in the way that Alm is playing. But he's about to get caught here to the top lane. There's Collapse. In with the horn toss. Dropping the RP. The BKB was out in time. He's into the inverse. But the physical. Is it going to be enough here from this terror blade? Yatora. He's focusing down Arme. Arme's trying to run. But he can't get away from him. Arme out for 80. They're ready to chase for more Collapse. Steering in a close the distance. On to Jin Q. Team Spirit has lasted through the hardest part of the game. Now, everything is theirs. They just need to play this calmly, don't overextend, recognize that as long as we play around our own timings, this game is firmly in our grip. I mean, there's three dead. There's no buyback. It's only nothing to say. And why left here for the defense? It's Team Spirit. They're on the tier fours. They've got a fortification. 
but there's still those long, long seconds before they get their two claws back in the game, PSG LGD. They're gonna have to try to do something. I don't think they have enough time to wait for Tiny to respawn. See how carefully Team Spirit play it. Goes back. There's still 20 panic. seconds now, aren't they? They can push. They can push this spirit. They don't need a back. 20 seconds without Arme. They're gonna look for more ground before they close it up. Jump four for Galant. Shing Chu goes down. Nothing to say as well. Ancient point, nothing to say. Has a buyback. Eight seconds until Arme for the Ancient. They're looking to close it up. They can the taste the championship. They can take the money. There's but the no backdoor protection There's kicks no in. Bridge. The backdoor protection is in. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. PSG LGD, they'll start now to force Spirit back out the base. Mepochka will get himself out with a bling. They just need to reset Spirit. They're trying to get out Faith Beyond's on top of Mira though. They've got the curse. Holding back the Lycan. Why? Being a bit of a nuisance off to the side. The impetus onto Mira, but why? It's chased down by Collapse. You saw it, have got him. Toronto Tokyo, Law Manor. James holds it back, but now with a BKB armor. He has no back though. Straight back in with the random. Gets instantly caught out with the torrent. Well, the silence as well. Jump forward. Collapse. BKB. Still back. Into the clutch of the Yatora. Yatora. Okay. They're going to be able to lock him down with the RP. Where's the detection? Where's the detection? No detection. They need to see him. They don't get to see him. Oh my. He's going to live. He's going to turn towards Vera. He's still very low here. And that was slight change. They get him. They finish him off. Oh, that brings us out. What a TP. What Just a TP. one century word could have won them the game there, but. Supports unfortunately not able to get into range. Let's see what they can do around this pit. They're still down 16k PSG LGD, but they've got all their ults up. It's gonna make any sort of steal. They've already managed to set up here. On to the cone cut. They're gonna go straight to work. Yatora coming in with a BKB. The cards holds back on out the side. Nothing to say. He's gonna go down. Out for 110. Yatora's ready to step over his next side. He's looking over towards Armin. Collapse. Over the BKB. And Maposhka keeping himself alive with a cold embrace. Spirit. They'll turn over towards Armin, but Armin's still got the BKB to go. He's killed off another support. He's looking at the Toronto Tokyo. Toronto Tokyo buys some of the odds. He's got another remnant. It's like a miss into the remnant of the high ground. He's away. Both Armin teams again. Him. Yeah, sneaking around under the cover of these silver edges. Watching one another. Metamorphosis is out, but so is the two wolf forms. It's both teams taking it safe right now. But look at why. He's stuck oh. on the cliff. Why? Dude, look at how carefully they're playing it. They're scared to walk yeah, up there and try to kill him. <laughs> Watch slash. Oh, they got him. There we go. They'll take him off the cliff. But look at Rose. Oh, oh. is killing Rose. Oh, no, he can't do it, surely. Blink out time collapse. He's got his eyes on him. Still no, nothing to say or why for 50 seconds. Armin's alone. He's gone in alone. That was a risky move. He's got the back of a Jin Q. But Spirit, they're going to chase on. Slight chase. Oh, no, he's gone. Man. Two minutes, no, Tiny. Ancient exposed. Spirit. As they're they're not waiting for the creeps. They're ready to close it this time. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG LGD? I don't 